Partridge One here, and this time we'll be doing another Is It Worth It video. This time it's going to be on Is the Nexus 7 2013 Worth It in 2016? Let's get started. So, a quick rundown of the specs the Nexus 7 2013 packs a Snapdragon S4 Pro with 2 gigs of RAM, it's quad core. It has a 7-inch 1080p display, and it is an it is an IPS LCD display. Um, when this device came out, uh, tablets, uh, mini tablets, were still fairly popular back in 2013, and this one, being uh, especially as inexpensive as it was, sold pretty well. Nowadays, though, tablets aren't as popular as we're seeing the uh, growth of the laptop tablet hybrid. So tablets like these. Don't really seem to be needed that much anymore. This is how much worth it is a tablet like this, considering that the more more popular tablet choice are the computer tablet hybrids. Well, let's see what this thing can do and can't do in 2016. First thing I have to say is this thing can't run the latest version of Android, at least not officially. Um, it runs Android Marshmallow out of the box, but you can't upgrade it past that. You can technically if you um, go if you go over to XDA uh, developers uh, website and they will show you how to get Android 7.0. Well that's not the official build for Nexus 7 because there's never an official build uh, made for it, but if you want to do that, that's certainly an option. The overall performance of Nexus 7 isn't exactly what I would call bad. As you can see, just me uh, scrolling through and unlocking the device, it's actually quite smooth. Uh, scrolling through menus, opening up the app drawer, closing the app drawer, going through the multitasking, uh, just opening up a... Oh, this thing doesn't focus. Uh, opening up a Play Store, stuff like that. Like, things, things will, won't be as fast um, as, say, like, flagship smartphones or newer tablets, but this thing is not too terribly bad even just like I said it's opening up uh, YouTube for instance the, it, it takes a little bit of time but it's not overly that bad so I, I really want to find anything to do with the next 7 that is so enjoyable to use even today in 2016 is its 1080p display and its stereo speakers now its stereo speakers aren't front facing like um, stuff like the uh, Moto X's, like which I'm filming on right now, but it's they're still pretty good because you, can, you still get audio from both channels, and these speakers are fairly loud as well. So when it comes to media consumption, uh, watching watching Netflix or anything like that, or really YouTube, um, the um, media experience that you or consuming the consuming media. Um, that kind of experience that you get from this tablet is still is still not bad for the price, which I'll th I'll talk about in a little bit. This thing, if you actually look on eBay, this thing can go for about $135 on eBay used. Which, if you think about it, that's actually really not a bad deal, considering that you're getting a pretty decent processor. Uh, to definitely, I'd say even even though this thing is three years old, a pretty pretty good screen and uh, rear facing stereo speakers. So I'd say for that price, it's, you really can't go wrong with the uh, Nexus 7. Now, how does it compare to newer tablets? The answer would be, well, obviously the newer tablets are better, such as the uh, Galaxy Tab S3 or the iPad Mini 4. Now, those tablets, obviously they're going to be better because they're newer. But for being this cheap, I really, I really don't think that you could get a better tablet. I mean, it's it's a like I said, it's a really good media consumption device with a 1080, 1080p display and stereo speakers. And I think also its form factor and its bezels and just the feel in the hand, that soft touch plastic on the back as well. I don't really think you, you could go wrong with this tablet. And especially if you can get it used and snag it up for like a decent price, I really, I really don't think there's anything wrong with buying this tablet in 2016. The overall buy by now is that if you were if you were to ask someone is next or sorry if you were to ask me is next seven 2013 worth it in 2016 I'd probably say yes because like I said the form factor the display the speakers the um, de decent performance and the price that you can get this thing at um, especially from 
from retailers like eBay, you can really get this thing at a pretty decent price. And I think if you still have one right now, um, there are rumors that there will be a new Nexus 7, well, a pilot called Nexus, because people uh, rebranded their Nexus phones to the Google Pixel phones. So I'm thinking this is probably going to be called the Pixel 7 or the Pixel tablet. But um, until then, I'd probably still hold on to this until that comes out. Because that one's probably going to have Snapdragon 820. It's probably going to have probably a lot better than probably a higher, definitely a higher pixel density display um, than this tablet right here. Um, it's probably going to have better cameras. We all know why you need better cameras on a tablet. Um, probably going to have more premium build. Not sure if they're going to keep the price the same. That's what I'm worried about. But um, yeah, if you probably own one of these right now, I'd probably just wait for that. Um, whatever they're going to call it, the Pixel tablet, to um, come out. But um, yeah, if you're just like looking for a good tablet at a decent price and um, will just you know perform well and just do what a tablet does, I really don't think you can go wrong with the uh, X7 Corn 13. So uh, anyway, uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you later. Peace.